be paying attention, don't worry. <laughs> 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 no, I've done it before, don't worry. I love that. It's my favourite thing. I have to <laughs> think about that before. We've been talking, for a having a massive conversation about what we just saw <laughs> and immediately just like not caring. That's good. Okay. Inkling's been a mainstay for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, are they? I, I wouldn't say that they're considered still, like, you know, absolute top tier, but they've never left, you know. I remember, you know. They haven't really changed much, yeah. not too much. They've just, you know, I think they're still a good character, but I feel like they are one of the most power crept characters in the game. You know what I mean? They've got super good things, but the top tiers are just top tiers, and Inkling just isn't in that moment, in, the, uh, in that, in that uh, conversation at the moment. Yeah. A back air being a big thing. Oh, yeah. Acting, uh, what is it? It's got the uh, the old sword property where it's got that extended hitbox mm -hmm. or disjointed hitbox. Confirms the jab that puts like, you know, a one point something uh, yeah. multiplier on you. You take hella damage. And that's what Inkling's thing kind of is. Low profiling with a dash, and then when they get the grab, because they're going to get the grab, you know, they get that booyah, you know, the up throw up air. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, how, you know, can you do that consistently? Okay. I'm actually going to have a look at this pool to see. Which, oh man, the up be coming out. I'm so sorry. You know what? Actually, no, I'm not surprised. I always wonder why do people let these cheeser characters like Mario and me, Brawler, and just these ladder characters, why do you let them go to stages like Biplat? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you're going to get laddered sooner or later. But you know what I mean? This is Mellet's funeral. I'm just attending it, by You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's up yeah, to yeah. them. Of At the moment, though, <laughs> keeping it very even. No one's died yet. They're both kind of just biding their own time, seeing when they can kind of get an opening uh, to take that kill. Okay. Splat on the stage, the down smash there, letting all the Arsenal fly, but just can't find that one kill. Just trying to find something, not able to connect much, really. Again, as you say, we're just locked in in this uh, thrilling neutral. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Really surprised on no kill yet from the water well, side. But there, nice. there's yeah. the kill from Melon. Okay, drop back, rising up as you know. Yeah, if you have, if you're on the ledge and someone's trying to aggress me, and you have an, an the an ability to do something like that, fine, work it out. Oh wow, was, 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 was that dash attack? Yeah, I believe that was up smash. Oh up smash, right, right. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, why did it go straight <laughs> up? <laughs> just pallet. Like. Very unsafe jab, of course. Just want to get ink on them just for that extra damage. Of course, inking is no slouch when it comes to damage side. But you know, how do they get the kill? That is obviously the question all the time. Uh, and you see the fungus looking for any side B, just a command grab. Just want to put that 20% uh, on them, just can't find it though. Mm. Uh, and it's again back to neutral. <laughs> okay, there's the net start off. There's two up tilts. There's the up air looking for the up tilt extension, like I said before. Just can't find that one kill. These nairs again. <laughs> the classic nair. Oh, yeah. Everywhere, that boot. <laughs> And already Melod has taken a lot of percent. Can't get too much on them themselves. Yeah. Uh, they are struggling to kind of, you know, uh, keep up in this game. Does get a little bit of ink on. Yeah, that's, that is nice with that, uh, with, with a little bit of shot, a couple of rapid jabs. And this is where you, this is the thing. Like, again, like a lot of the damage, like multiplier being a huge part of their, of their kit. If you aren't able to capitalize upon it. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Just just holding that presence at, 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 at the ledge and forcing an option from, from Melod getting caught in the end, and that's a 2-1 uh, lead. Yeah, and I feel this is kind of where Inkling's problem kind of shines, right? Because obviously, they, like a support, they can get that damage, but their kill percent, uh, the windows are, are very small, very tight with these up throw up airs, and then you're kind of looking for a roller, and that's very uh, telegraphed, because it's only on the ground, so you know what I mean? So obviously, Dafang has got a lot of options to choose from mm. uh, to kind of evade all these things. Meanwhile, they can get a kill out of nowhere just off one up tilt. That's just me brawler, cheeser. <laughs> Okay, back throw there, something, splat bomb on the ledge. Where do we go? Into the down smash. Doesn't hit its mark. Is it going to get the up throw up air? Nope, not inside the window anymore. And now you have to work with either a back throw or a roller. Both telegraph options. I think it's definitely one of those things you have to really be aware of, not not just when playing a character, but mm -hmm. also playing against the character, like knowing their, their you know, their, their options. As you say, like there's a very particular window for the, you know, for the, the old um, up throw up air, but yeah, if you if you kind of know that you're no longer in that, you can you can you can turn up the heat a little bit. Sure. You, you can even be like, right, well, I know what their options are, um, so I can definitely play around that a lot better rather than being so scared of like being grabbed. Okay, dash that gonna put my stage, and now Defung in a really good spot. Where are we gonna go? The Nair just staying up Ooh. there, so now you have to go up, jump above. But of course, I've got this big thropper ready to kill you. I think one more of those. Oh god, that was close. Jesus Christ. That's once again, that should be it. Or are we going to get, get, or is the game going to lie to us? It's not going to lie to us. Game one going over to Dafong. Okay, yeah. Melod having a little bit of it. It was, it was, a, it was a really closely contended start. Um, momentum slowly pulled away from, from Melod. Couldn't quite wrangle it back, unfortunately. 
Uh, but good stuff from from Defong. Hello, mate. You all right? He looks really happy about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Overwhelmed with uh, emotion. <laughs> As only a German could, you know. <laughs> of course, I would be happy too if I was killing an inkling just like that. You know, very comfortable <laughs> first game for them. I feel like they were really commanding. Uh, it was always on Mela to kind of catch back up. It, I feel like the lead was too far gone um, yeah. for Defung. It's never really over, but sometimes it's just a little bit too much, you know. Okay, tries to get the back head to jab. Usually that kind of connects. Maybe not opting for the jab that time for whatever reason. And now Defung, uh, again, trying to extend the lead as much as they can. There's uh, the rapid jab. Push them off stage for the ledge guard situation. And they've been throwing a lot of nares out to kind of force these jumps, force these rolls, and they still cover them. So really good mm. option picking uh, uh, from the fun. Good timing just to get up to avoid this flat bomb. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, you're using, you're using new neutral B in neutral, uh, getting caught out. Goes again for the back air, does get it, uh, does get teched by Defung, so can't quite follow up with the roller. Yeah, and these uh, rollers are like zero for seven, by the way. He has not, they have not hit any of them so far. Uh, it seems to be just a telegraphed option. And if you can't get your other up air, you just take so long to kill. And this is where Melod is really struggling to kind of get a firm grasp uh, in the set so far. Yeah. I just think that Defung is playing around Melod's options fairly well. Right. Um, and yeah, I think Melod's just struggling. Again, oh, there we go. That, there's the first one. One for eight. Okay. <laughs> one for eight. Let's go. <laughs> Um, I do like the, the decision to know that they're going to be um, that that one was going to be breaking out, mm -hmm. op opting for jumping and getting the back air. It's guaranteed uh, damage that you know you're going to get. Um, yeah. Damn. Missing another one, but at least on the ground with the ink on the ground, you are slowed down. Doesn't matter though. The fun not really caring about that. Still finds the grab. Uh, really good situation for them. A lot of stage control in their position until now. Melod's time. Uh, the up B is going to get snuffed out, and with the up air, finally Melod with the lead. And this is where Inkling is the best character right now. Because they don't have to kill. All they have to do is get damage, and that's what they do best. But you do get uppercutted in the face, yeah. and uh, it's back to even. Great. Well, yeah, that the, the, the prime situation for Inkling gone in in, 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 in an instant. Excuse me. Uh, that's some good stuff, though. They, oh, hello. That was a whiffed up B again. Opting to go for the full um, ink coverage here, mm -hmm. just, and then hoping to get some extra hits in to really maximize that damage. Does get the command grab, um, however. So definitely back in control few nares just to keep the rising inkling away. Okay, forward though, gonna push on stage just for stage control. Ledge trap situation, a lot of these bombs and down smashes just to cover a lot of options. And there's the back air, and this is where Melod can shine right now. That's super nice. It is so much control. Yes. That was an excellent stock from Melod. They have, have, they have the lead. They want to gain percent. Don't need to overreach anymore. You can just play this one calmly. Okay, back air to jab. There's the classic. Get away from the splat bomb, but of course, Inkling is always there. Pretty fast character. No one really likes to talk about the mobility. He's very good, though. Uh, can't find the grab right there, but there's the back air. Gonna trip him up there, right there. And here we go into the Nans, the back air, just racking on percent as much as they can. Melon in a favorable position. Yeah, gonna keep going as well. Not really taking their foot off the gas here. Want to get that win. That should be it. Nicely done. Two for nine. They mattered both. Oh, well, yeah, I'm with that. They mattered. We've got stats now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the graphs going. Absolutely. I love, I love, a, I love a pie chart. <laughs> no, but I feel like Melon looked really comfortable in that game. You know, I kept talking about how Inkling's options are very limited and what they can do, but your Melon was shutting me the hell up and saying, you know what, no, I can, a lot of things I can do, you just have to sit back and watch. Mm. And uh, that's all the fun can do as well. They were kind of getting tossed around the whole stage. So uh, now it's back to even. Yeah, I really like that. A very clear shift in, in approach, upping the pace and kind of like not letting Defong settle. I think, and, and then kind of a lot of the times we saw like, you know, uh, hasty options being pulled sure. out, up, 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 up B's being ripped too early. And then suddenly it's like, well, now you're in a very, very strong uh, um, position to like, you know, get your low percent combos, you know, rack up, up percent well, and just kind of, and in worse scenarios, take stocks. It Defung just felt like, just uh, it, well, yeah, you're completely right. It felt like Melo was kind of just sniffing out the desperation from mm -hmm. uh, the fuck. As soon as he lost the first stock, he was kind of like going for these up bees out of nowhere, these side bees, a bit unconventional, and Melo was just taking advantage, was, you know, waiting their turn, and they're getting a lot of damage, and it was really hard for the fun yeah. to kind of operate their game. Yeah, and that, I guess that that's where, I guess, for lack of a better, I mean, I mean, composure matters, and I guess, you know, experience in, in, you know, in these situations can really kind of show itself in, in that composure. Okay, we're hitting a lot more rollers now, looking for the dare reset into up smash, can't find it. it uh, like good it, idea from Melod though. It kind of looked like the platform actually um, hindered Melod there. Maybe. So, um, yeah, good good, good decision for, for Defong to get hit from by, by, the, uh, by the roller underneath the platform. Good, good okay. job. 
Big swing with the F tilt, gonna put them off stage. Just that horizontal momentum for them there. Back air as well. You got to fight there, like I said before. The disjoint, uh, very hard to deal with. Yeah, he's got opting for the down tilt on a neutral get up. Wow. Yeah. Once again, using that. I think that's down B. Uh, uh, get, yeah, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, to get back on onto stage into a waiting up smash. Oosh. Okay. One big suplex. A lot of damage right there. No kill, of course, but still back air as well. Now. Uh, the Fung has to fight back with the up throw into there. Yep, just for damage wise. Splat Bomb set it up, and I feel like the Fung has been struggling on the ledge so far. Trying to get the side B, the command grab, gonna catch him in shield, but nope. Melod said no, they still have time to work with. It's gonna stay on that ledge. Splat Bomb as well. And you're just on the ledge again. No really, uh, you know, evasiveness too well, but still the Fung in a favorable position. Has to find the kill now, though. I feel like Melod mm. starting to run away with it. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because like, Defung hasn't really, I, I can't really make a decision on, on on how he wants to actually punish mm -hmm. Melod there. Oh and, my and he couldn't God. get anything from it and just, yeah, just letting Melod slowly but surely make their way back on stage. Anything here potentially? These back airs being caught and up B being thrown out. Yep, just wants to kill like, again. The desperation being snuffed out. Just can't find anything. Uh, inkling, one of their biggest strengths we didn't really talk about is how they're just so hard to hit. They're a small character. Their dash literally goes into the ground. It's intangible for a bit. So how do you hit this character a lot of the time? Okay, Splat Bomb just trying to, trying to control. Rolls in, nothing happens from that one there. Goes for another up B. I think there was like a stray hit, but not anything that's actually, actually mega there. Melod still with control here. Roll on, uh, interesting choice, but yeah, didn't okay. get punished. Trying to get an F tilt, but finally, uh, you know, the fun getting something. Only an up throw though, and that's gonna be no kill for there. And now they're struggling to kill. If you're outside <laughs> of that window that they get, it's really hard to kind of throw out these moves, finally get something, but you know, you're 100% down and counting. Yeah, finally gets the stock though. Just, but the thing is, is like if we're in this situation where, you know, there's just so much back and forth and there's nothing really happening on either side, that does favor the person who's uh, behind in percent. Right. Where there, you know, there comes a point when you just, you know, 160, 180 probably doesn't, probably doesn't make a difference. Right. But every percent does in, on, in like the other way. So. That's a good point. Okay. Just gonna wait, see what they do. Comes down with the nair, interrupts himself. Well. Now it's Melod's time. Couple of up airs into the nair, looking for the down air reset again. Can't <laughs> find it. They really want it. Both both players just kind of working on on these kind of these up B ladders. Does get um, um up air into up B up air um up air ladder. Excuse me. Does get the up B, um, um up B confirm. 110 percent on Melod. If Defun can find something meaningful. Now, oh. this is an interesting game. The down smash couldn't find its mark now. Uh, the fun right back into it, and they were down 100 and something before. They're only down 80%. It's a little bit of an improvement, but of course, looking for the up air. Uh, but now the fun can kind of creep back into the game. You've given them a chance to come back in. You have to sl uh, shut that door uh, shut quickly. Oh, going for the roller again on shield. That's uh, again no up B though. I feel like. All right, trying to go for these like B reversals and kind of just getting the wrong the wrong angle, um, but once again, very important roller. They're hitting them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely overheard me. Said, you know what, we can hit those. Oh yeah, I th yeah. That was what what what, what Mel was doing wrong the entire time, just deciding not to hit rollers right. it's, instead of not hitting them, hit them. And they make they make a difference. Yeah. But of course, the fun's still smiling. Can work yeah. something out. But that door, man, it was uh, it was beginning to open. You know what I mean? Looking at the locksmith, but I just couldn't find the right key. <laughs> Mellard doing a good job making sure it stays shut. Uh, <laughs> and now we're going yeah. to game four. You can imagine, just, just, just imagine like a janitor with like a hundred keys. <laughs> just being like, Which one is it? Which the blue one, one, one the it, green please? one, the yellow one, the purple one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh. And yeah, even though Inkling is exactly, exactly the quickest, uh, quickest character, of course, to get these kills, Mellard doing a really good job of showing why Inkling can be a good character, dominating neutral. A lot of the time you see when they have these ledge trap situations, they're keeping the Fung on the ledge for such a long time. And the Fung seems to always get wrong. And even though they don't die, they still take so much damage and you're going to die eventually, right? Yeah. Seems to be the motto for Melon. Okay, we're going back to the same stage though and it worked out very well for, for Melon as we saw. Opens up with 42% unanswered so far. Yep, not been hit yet. Great start for Melon, you know, bursting out the gates. Okay, it's platform ledge is what I was talking about. Where do we go? Good patience from the Fung. Finally going to get something side, but nope. Down tilt, a little bit unsafe, right up close, has to do something, avoids the down smash, yep, into the command grabbers, 22%, big damage. Yeah, that was a little bit, um, let's say, uh, confident of, of Melod just to be um, uh, throwing out the a charge down smash there. 
allowing Dafung a moment in. But uh, again, okay. yeah, landing up air into up air strings does catch the air dodge or find it. Yeah, the air dodge into that dash attack. Okay, the forward air. No down air spike, looking to kind of two frame the recovery. Can't mm. find it right now. And now you're getting grabbed. A little bit ill advised uh, you know, approach against Melod. Opting for the S They're both confident. Okay. Okay, charging a little bit. That's a little bit of time there just to charge some ink. It is a resource that does matter some, some, sometimes. You don't really see it. It's very rare to see them in a position where they aren't, you know, right. healthy on resource or at least have some to deal with it. But uh, back to the ledge for where you go. You know, the bomb's just there. You're just stuck in gel at the moment. You got to roll the dice to get something out. How do we get out there? Never mind the F tilt sealing your stock, and now you got to start all over again. Yeah, various options available there, um, but opted for the roll in into a waiting melod. Uh, yeah, they they did did a good job of just choosing a, a, a variety of setups and yeah had the right one. The landing hitbox it has one. Don't, yep. Don't be caught slacking. It's deceptive. Yep. Now again, how the hell do you hit Inkling? You know the strong hit finds the back air, can't find the kill though. Inkling at 140%. You know they can get something. It's just hard to find you know consistent damage uh, on this character so mo uh, so mobile. Okay, so once again, yeah, opting for the jump this time, <laughs> knowing what happened last time, uh, Dafung rolled in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, wait, uh, the get up attack's nice, but uh, that looked like a, uh, like a strain there, just mm -hmm. being enough to take it at that percent. That'll do it. Yeah, the initial part of the hitbox is very strong. As long as it lingers out, it gets a bit weaker. Okay, now Melon looking even stronger, of course. The fair pushing off stage more and more mm -hmm. for that ledge trap situation, getting interrupted by the Nair. Uh, they're both scrapping a lot of the time, and you see another jab by Melon just wants that ink percent damage. Does connect the uh, the splat bomb that time as well. I think the dash trap was very very nice, um, just to try and pop them up when they lose their iframes into the splat bomb as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that was good stuff. There's the other up there. Finally making a mark. As I say, that was a good one. You know, the, there was lots of of, um, of ink covering Dafung, increasing that um, that percentage, which I get probably put him in the range to actually make that a a, a KO. Mm -hmm. It's a good stuff from Melod. Okay, down throw. No up B. Uh, interesting. We're still going for damage, of course. Might not have killed, so didn't want to waste it right now. Okay. No, doesn't get the second up air or the grab either. And now we're seeing a lot more retreating nairs from Defung, being a little bit more careful in where they want to approach. In the first two games, uh, a lot of the times they're doing nair to kind of approach in. Now they're doing it to fade out and gets the up B. That move kills early, Bowie. Yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> what was that, like 110 again? Jeez. And that's really nice because that was at 47%. So that's, well, I mean, unless, you know, Melod here just uh, does Runs what they need to it, do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's almost a, a, a point, a, a moment in time where Defung can bring this back potentially. Okay, interrupting the roller with the Nair. That Air Dodge, they have got a good recovery, so they can recover. Yep. A little bit of a scary situation. The Fung, again, starting to creep back into this game. It's not over yet. His last stock. Uh, they are down a little bit, but not out for sure. Trade. Definitely in the favor of Melod. Yeah, and they are hugging that platform, absolutely romanticizing Ooh. it. They do not want to get rolled. They know if they get rolled, it's over. What once was a, uh, a thing that elegantly danced around is now, sadly, a dangerous potential. Oh, doesn't get the pickup, of course. Chases the roll of the dash tag, a good option. Now, the fun, a little bit of momentum right now. Oh, God, that's scary. Super scary. I'm expecting the roller going to come out soon. Yeah, going to probably charge it in. Yep, there's the roller. Again, yeah. telegraphed option. Yeah, the short hops, though, just which one will ha will the trigger be pulled? Yep. And I feel like these situations, it does favor me, Brawler. You know, they have got more explosive kill power. So you just get the right hit for sure. We've seen how, how early the up B can, can go. If they can start a ladder and get into that, that's definitely what they want. Okay. The roller, the oh. nair into up throw, a little down throw into up B, and that gone. is the kill, and that's, that's what gone. me Brawler does. Melod shakes their head, couldn't believe that one happened. You were talking about it. You were, you were, it was a premonition. I've first. seen it happen too many times. <laughs> it's, it's just... This ain't my first rodeo. And that's, what he, that's the... That's the the, uh, I guess the sadness about Inkling, you know what I mean? You can do all this damage, all this cool movement, all these up throw up airs and roller attempts. At the end of the day, I got my me brawl, I can just down throw up EU. Yeah, simple as that. So, remember this is winner's semis of this pool. Yeah. I should mention that uh, um, Sintro's on the other side of this pool. So okay. I don't, 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 don't think we're going to see Sintro. They've 
actually already qualified for the uh, the winner's side. So the winner of this does go through to that that, that kind of tomorrow's bracket. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, in winner's side. So uh, there's a lot on the line here. And I feel like Melo's not going to be happy with that. And that might be, you mm. know, uh, altering the momentum of how you feel. I feel like the Fung's got a burst of momentum at, at that later part of the game. And that's super uh, crucial, you know what I mean? Uh, it really yeah. helps a lot of the time to kind of get back into the game and sneak it uh, for uh, between your feet. Yeah, you got to you, you got to wonder if there's just, just a little bit of as the pressure mounted and it became a little bit more tense. Mm -hmm. Did Melo run out of steam in that game? Um, and w would that be another potential? Would that happen again? Is that something that's going to be running through Melo's head? So, um, yeah, and and how can Defung use that? You know, like if I can just hold the line and kind of find what I need. You know, just just hold just hold it enough, and and see if the if the error is for, is you know eventually dropped by the opponent. Okay. A lot of approaching. Now they're approaching with the Nairs now from Defung. You know, last game it was retreating, getting back to approaching now. Very aggressive uh, from Defung. Just wants to get a lead. A lot of these dash checks coming out more and more. Just trying to, you know, interrupt the zone breaking uh, from Melon. Okay, it's down nice. touch on the catch the recovery. It's nice to see those changes in uh, momentum and confidence from players from moment to moment. Oh, the up smash is the weak hit. Probably one of the, diff the different part. Very even Ooh. right now, yep. In yeah. percent. Nothing in it pretty much apart from that back air. Flat bomb again. Very well timed on that get up. Just yeah. to make sure it's not uh, not gonna catch. It's gonna say they're timing their recovery more and more now on these uh recoveries. And now you're getting past the neutral B. Finally letting that one rep and actually hitting its mark. It's gonna say, you know, a lot of the time on the ledge they've been forced to fight that splat bomb and finally the funk's kinda of found the answer to the timing. Uh, and they're recovering back to the stage very well now. No rollers coming out either. Okay, Ooh, it's the jab. Yep, why not? Jab into jab. Singling classic. <laughs> no command grab for them, but of course it's gonna keep that you know, on the right side. There's Dashak again, interrupting the zone. There's the grab. Oh yeah, you can't yeah. stand still with me. You gotta press a button. Every interaction here is so good for, for Defung, slowly Absolutely. increasing that, that lead. And again, we're at the point of diminishing returns. Every straight hit doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter to Melod. They need to get something meaningful. Okay. There it is. There is something meaningful right there. The back air, it was the only way it was going to kill. And uh, finally, we are back to two stocks apiece. But, you know, I feel like the, the game is starting to run away from Melod right now. They need to get something started. There's the dash tag. Runs in, runs out, uh, gets back in. And now the fun getting a little bit comboed, but again, breaking the zone with these dash tags, with these nares. Uh, you know, the feet doing work. There's a da down tilt as well. Into the up B, but no kill. Melod uh, hanging on a thread. Just about. May, maybe there's a bit more. Oh my God! Christ! Melod shakes their head down a stock, and it's not looking pretty. There's a very good and healthy second stock yep. for Defong right now, but it's not over until the game is over. Absolutely, they are attacking on a lot of percent, but now you're getting double up tilt, looking for something. No command grab either. Uh, Defong getting back in this game immediately. Doesn't want to give Melod any chance to come back. Doesn't want to reverse. Okay, just dancing at each other, why not? Defong feels so much more, I, I, I guess, composed right now. There's a lot of um, emotion from Melon mm -hmm. that I feel that might be just kind of at least affecting certain moments, whereas Defong still seems very, very calm right, calm right now. And I think to his, to his, um, like, well, to his favor, basically. Right. Okay, and again, it's hiding on the platform, romanticizing it, treating it as your best friend. Don't want to be anywhere near his opponent when the roller is present. Yeah, there's the roller. No Ooh. up smash though, and that could be costly. Yeah, I couldn't quite get that one. What, what, is that a moment that you can kind of see as like a moment where, which could have been taking a lot more? That splat bomb does neutralize the down, the down B recovery, but. Um. And again, we've seen that down smash option from the ledge after they've got past the splat bomb. Not really, you know, work too well. Maybe if they're too far away or not, either way. Uh, okay, there's down smash there, no kill though. Uh, and all of this is just extra damage for the fun. Scary here for Melo. They need to get a splat. If they can, uh, side B comes out but does not get punished. Okay, how is Ingen going to find this kill? The roller, they are slowing down in the center stage, but either way, it doesn't really seem to matter uh, for the Fung right now. Throwing out a lot of these nares. Maybe looking for the side B. Nope, it's going for the normal grab instead. Okay, and now, finally, last knock a piece. This is where Ingen can shine and build back this damage. But oh, oh! my god! Big F smash. Melo took the headphones off. Put those back on. We're still in the game. 
Mellard there took a deep breath, but that 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 the the dash dancing was just mocked there by Dafong, who's just showing a little bit of that should be that's got to be it. Dafong takes the game. Oh god, that was a close game. Yeah, the fun really just, you know, staying, I think you said it best, uh, was more composed as the game was on, even showing up the pictures, don't even know what is going on over there, but still finding a way to keep it going, and uh, we'll be advancing into the next uh, into the next day in yeah. one side. Yeah, and I think that um, we're hearing the, 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 the names and the voices kind of uh, calling around the stage. I believe that's the end of our wave, that's the end of our block here. Oh, yes. um, three sets, a bit of fun, they were good sets, good sets, um, but we were just barreling through these it's uh, a mile a minute yeah i mean you know obviously obviously as the sets were going qu uh, quite quick you know there's only two sets to be played in each pool so yeah uh, it's going to be going crazy of course tomorrow kind of is like kind of 